Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, watch it, Pip. You're drifting. Pip, that's Doug Blake, isn't it? What's that Pip? Short for Doug? No, that's for propellers in the pants. He's doing takeoffs this morning, and he's busting the gasket to get up. Wants to learn it all in one day and leave for Berlin in the morning. Morning, Mr. Blake. Morning, sir. All ready? Yes, sir. Do we go right up, sir? You sure you remember what I showed you yesterday about how to start the engine, check instruments, and fill out Form 1? Yes, sir. I'm all set to take off, sir. Well, maybe you are. But I'd like to give you a little pointer first. You're familiar with light planes. You know, flying a BT-13 is a lot more like handling one of those babies than you'd think. You're up in the smoking car with the men now, and you've got plenty of new things to learn. You've got more juice, 450 horse, and you have almost the same flight haze that you'll find in one form or another in combat ships. Rudder and elevator trim tabs, radio, and in the latest models, they have recognition lights here and on the belly, wing flaps, you also have a variable pitch propeller. Hey, wait a minute. You're not going to forget to check your baggage compartment, are you? That's it. See that there's nothing in there that might break loose and foul your controls. Also, check your gas tank. That's a very necessary precaution. Because your gas gauge might not always be correct. You might find yourself without any gas when you needed it the most. And that would be bad. All right. Now, the trim tabs, the wing flaps, particularly the variable pitch propeller, all these things make a difference. They make it a whole lot easier, don't they, sir? They certainly do. But I'd as soon give a baby a razor to play with as let you take off before you know how to use them right. Properly handled, they're a terrific help. But in careless hands, mister, they can be bad medicine. I know, sir. You told me yesterday. Yeah, and I'm going to pound it at you every day. All right, plug in your headset. Fasten your safety belt. Unlock your controls. Adjust your seat and your rudder pedals. Check Form 1A and fill out Form 1. Set your altimeter. Roll up your flaps. Trim for takeoff. Sure you're on the proper gas tank. Start on the fullest tank, but keep both tanks within 10 gallons of each other during the day. If both tanks are full, start on the right tank. Check all your controls before you start the engine. Check all your instruments after your engine's running. And recheck them before you take off. You gotta make a habit of that recheck if you wanna be an army pilot. And if you want to stay healthy, I'll show you when and where to make it. Open mixture, and adjust your throttle. Turn on your switch. Switch on. Build up your fuel pressure, and prime the engine. Keep your fuel pressure up, and energize. Engage. Is your radio on? Yes, sir. Change your prop pitch to high RPM, but not until the oil pressure is stabilized. Check your radio while you're warming up your engine. But keep your feet on the brakes. Don't ever trust your parking brakes while your engine's running. Power from L401, radio check, go ahead. L401 from the tower. You are R5S5, roger. 
Uncage your flight instruments. Okay, let's go. brakes individually to see that they're not grabbing and that they're working properly. Always taxi with flaps up. Otherwise pebbles you kick up will damage you. Keep your head and eyes moving. Remember, you're essing to clear your field of vision, so look around. Look out! See that? Right under your nose. A blind spot's a danger spot. Don't forget that. And another thing, you use only the rudder to ess. Only the rudder, never the brakes. Except when it's absolutely necessary. Always stop at a 45 degree angle to the takeoff lane. Get you a good view both ways to see that you're absolutely clear before you give her the gun. But always stop just short of the takeoff lane. Never on it. Unless you're ready to go. Now, here's where you make that double check. See that your prop's in high RPM. If it's not, you can't turn up enough RPM to develop maximum horsepower. And without maximum horsepower, you won't get off so fast. Maybe not even at all on short fields. Understand that? Oh, yes, sir. Sure you do. If your prop's not in high RPM, you're practically glued to the ground, so check it. Then your mixture control, and that's a must, too. It's got to be full rich or you won't get enough fuel for full power. Maybe not even enough to keep going. Also check to see that you're taking off on the proper gas tank. And be darn sure your trim tabs are set properly. If you forget, and they should be off even a little bit, you'll have to pull against them. And it could be like having a tug of war with the Navy backfield. So remember, they've got to be properly adjusted. All these checks are insurance against accidents, maybe bad accidents. And you want to make these checks as much as possible by feel. Every time you bury your head in the cockpit, you're inviting trouble. Did you get all that? Uh, yes, sir. What did I say last? You, uh, you were just mentioning insurance, sir. And you'll need insurance, mister, if you ever forget any one of these points. Yes, sir. Do we take off now, sir? First, you relax. Now, as I was saying, skip anything at this point, and it means trouble later. You ever hear of torque? Yes, sir. Well, think about it now, and every time you get set to take off. Remember, torque pulls the ship to the left. You have to counteract it by pressure on the right rudder, enough to keep the nose straight. And to help do this, pick yourself a couple of guide points, one on each side. Say, that derrick and that tall chimney. See him? Look in the mirror a second. Now, if your nose goes off course that much, either way, correct it with rudder immediately. Or you can ground loop just like that. And now you take off. Is that right, sir? No. If you've been idling for any length of time, your engine loads up. And you have to open your throttle to clear it. Otherwise, it might cut out on you. You've also got to check your mags at 1,500 RPM, but you can do both these things at the same time. Now, last but not least, in the Volte Valiant, you must roll down 20 degrees of flaps. But you do this after you've checked your mags and cleared your engine. Otherwise, rocks kicked up by the prop wash might damage your flaps. Okay, follow through on the controls. Keep your head and eyes moving. 
Don't forget torque. Watch your nose on the horizon. It'll tell you what you're doing. When you see you're clear, open your throttle gradually, smoothly. Swing into line parallel to the T. Quiet now, you're gaining speed. Wings level, nose straight, right between your guide points. Now you're easing forward pressure on the stick, bringing the tail up until you're in shallow climb attitude. There, you're holding it there. Notice torque pulling the nose to the left. Bring it back by applying right rudder pressure. If it should swing over to the right, ease off some of the pressure. Now you're holding it. Holding. And the ship's lifting itself off. You don't pull it off, it lifts itself. But near stalling speed, not good for climbing. Now you're leveling off to gain plenty of flying speed. Leveling off helps you get that speed, and at the same time lets you retard your throttle for normal climbing RPM, keeping the engine from running away. You're holding straight and level until you get plenty of airspeed before starting your climb. Now you've got it, so you're easing back pressure on the stick to bring it up to normal climbing attitude. And there, you're climbing. You're over 150 feet now, so you're checking behind you and making your first 90 degree turn with traffic. Directly after takeoff, especially before making your turns, be sure and look around. You're straightening out. Again, checking behind you, making your 90 degree turn out of traffic. altitude at which you want to fly. So change your prop to low RPM. Roll up your flaps. Trim the ship for straight and level flight. Adjust your throttle for cruising RPM. Adjust your mixture control for best power. And retrim the ship for straight and level flight. Straight and level? Sir, aren't we going to continue takeoffs today? Takeoff's not complete until you've trimmed your ship. Oh, well, sir, then we are going down again for another takeoff, aren't we? Right now, unless you have any questions you'd like to ask first. No, sir, not a thing. be below the step level and you won't step on the flaps and damage it. Think you can handle the controls yourself? Right now, sir? Do you remember everything I told you? Well, things happen a little fast, but I'm sure I remember all the important points, sir. Oh, just the important ones, huh? In that case, I think we'd better run through the next takeoff right here on terra firma. Well, we can do it slowly. You said just now that you got all the important points. Listen, if you missed any point, or only half understood any point, you missed something important. 
Here, sit down. Now, we'll go through the whole thing again. And if there's anything you're not clear about, don't hesitate to ask me. You'll find that procedure will vary somewhat at different fields. But I want you to get one definite procedure in your mind so you won't forget anything. Now, say you're in a plane taxiing out. You're checking your brakes, you're S-ing, using rudder, rudder only, you're looking around you all the time, and you stop at a 45 degree angle to the takeoff lane. Make that double check. Drop in high RPM, mixture control, full rich, gas switch on proper tank and trim tab set properly. You're checking your mags at 1500 RPM and at the same time clearing your engine for takeoff. Roll down 20 degrees of flaps. Still looking around, you see you're clear and you're turning into the takeoff lane parallel to the T. Picking up your guide points, opening your throttle gradually, smoothly, holding the ship in a straight line, gaining speed. Now you're easing forward pressure on the stick, bringing your tail up into shallow climb attitude. Now I'm thinking about torque and remembering to counteract it with sufficient right rudder. That's right. Whenever torque tends to pull your nose to the left, bring it back with extra pressure on the right rudder. Of course, too much pressure will pull your nose to the right. If this happens, ease it off a little. Now, you're holding your attitude, holding it, holding, and the plane's lifting itself off. You want to remember that. You do not pull the ship off in normal takeoffs. It's designed to lift itself. But, and get this, it lifts itself off just above stalling speed. So don't try to climb as soon as you feel it lifting. Because, mister, speed near stalling speed's no good for climbing. She's lifting. She's up. And you're leveling off to get plenty of flying speed. At the same time, you're reducing your throttle to normal climbing RPM to keep the engine from running away. When you're leveled off, you can do this and at the same time pick up flying speed. Now you have sufficient flying speed, so you're easing back pressure on the stick and you're climbing. And now you're above 150 feet, so you're checking behind you and making your 90 degree turn with traffic. You're straightening out. Again checking behind you, you're making your 90 degree turn out of traffic. In leveling off for cruising, you're climbing about 100 feet above your cruising altitude, then easing forward on your stick and changing your prop to low RPM. You're rolling up your flaps, gradually losing your excess altitude and picking up speed as you do so. You're trimming the ship for straight and level flight. As the ship gathers speed, you're easing back on the throttle so as not to exceed cruising RPM and making the final adjustments on your trim tabs. And that's it. That help any? A lot, sir. I'm sure I know all the points now. Oh, that's fine. You can take it up all by yourself. Before very long. I'll be watching. And you remember everything I've been teaching you the last few days. Every word, sir, I'll remember. Well, here I go. Off to the blue sky yonder. Yep, this is it. Solo. There's no reason to be nervous. I just gotta remember everything my instructor told me. Gotta remember to check my brakes. Right, okay. Left, okay. Both okay. Yes, that's very important. Use the rudder, not the brakes. Unless absolutely necessary, the purpose of Essing is to ensure complete vision of the field ahead. Right on the nose, stopping at 45 degree angle to the takeoff lane. Must remember the double check. First, prop and high RPM, check. Mixture control, full rich, check. And now what? Oh, gas switch on proper tank, check. Trim tab set for takeoff, check. Clear my engine and check my mags before I take off, right.
that's roll down to twenty degrees check and double check well that's the works what if i forgot anything prop mixture gas which trim tabs mags engine cleared flaps down nope got them all well all clear here we go open throttle gradually smoothly turn in parallel to the t and picking my guide points i'm on my way getting speed that's it that's the baby now ease forward on the stick <sighs> things sure happen fast let's see my tail's in shallow climb position now uh oh torque's pulling me to the left got to adjust for torque that's it she's easing back to the right ah uh, that's better got to keep that nose in line okay easy does it she's lifting she's up why this is a pushover simple as abc just remember everything and it's a cinch now level off to get sufficient flying speed reduce the throttle to normal climbing rpm now mr stick i'll ease back on you and i'm climbing Now I'm looking around and making my first 90 degree turn with traffic. Nice, smooth, medium turn. That's it. Now we straighten her out. So far, so good. Now I look around and make a 90 degree turn out of traffic. Same, easy, medium turn. Ah, uh, that's it. Well, here I am at the right altitude. What a pushover. Change the prop to low RPM. Roll up my flaps. Trim the ship for straight and level flight. Adjust throttle for cruising RPM. Adjust mix to control for best power. And re-trim my ship for straight and level. Congratulations, Pip, you made it. And not even one mistake. Now I haven't a thing to worry about. Except landing. Mm -hmm.